Hi everybody. So we're done with the horizontal stabilizer and now now time to backtrack a little bit as the rudder never actually got finished. Why? Well, because I'm an idiot sometimes. It happens. So uh, I beefed up the entire left skin uh, right at the last second that I could have done it. I was putting all of the stiffeners into the left skin and the back plate jumped on me, my back riveting, the whole thing just went to hell and I tore a huge crack right through the skin, right on top of a stiffener. No way to salvage it. Sixteen thousandths of an inch thick skin there. You can see the uh, new rudder skin on the work table. I mean that thing is very delicate. So anyway, fast forward uh, one parts order from Vans and one <laughs> horizontal stabilizer later and now I'm ready to kind of catch up on the rudder. So basically it's all the steps from the rudder work that we did before <clears throat> only this time you know uh, all the pitfalls. We're reworking the stiffeners right there doing the cutting and deburring of the holes and edges. I will say it was very easy to find the parts through vans. So if you screw something up, and you will, you're going to have to order new parts. So uh, I just went to the uh, Vans web store page, and there's a search at the bottom. Just make sure to put in the exact part number from the plans. So like in this case, that rudder part was R-00901-L, I think. I'm just going off of memory. But you search for that, and it brings it up. Oh, there's your, you know, run rudder skin left. Uh, they don't have the parts like all listed out the way they have the other sections. Uh, that would just be either way too much of a pain in the butt for someone to maintain, or to create the system would not be worth the effort of having to do all the engineering, reading from a table. Someone's still got to update the table, so yeah, the, the whole thing could be a mess. Being a computer, being a, a software person, inventory software is great if that's your main company, but you know they have other jobs to do, so can't fault them for it. It's a good system. It works. As long as you've got your part numbers, they've got them. So I had to get uh, whole skin, got some stiffeners. Also, I took that opportunity to order a few uh, bags of rivets that I just didn't want to run low on. I had originally been keeping all the rivets in their individual bags as numbered by the plans and then in little boxes, but I think it might be time to just migrate them out into different sizes. <clears throat> so anyway, we got a couple of videos. This is just, uh, like I said, deburring and the skins, uh, left skin of the rudder and all of the stiffeners. So we'll be doing that for the next uh, few videos. So stay tuned.